another thing for me was uh, me was able to talk to to Muslim people. These guys were actually from Brisbane City, but they came over here for just a weekend fun, and I was able to talk to them. And uh, it, so I met them in the afternoon. I didn't have enough time to talk, but then we had a plan to meet in the evening, and I got to spend one and a half hour with them and to talk the differences and what's the difference between the Christianity and Islam. So eventually we departed by saying that we cannot find out what's real, uh, really important in, in short time. So planning to meet again and again in the coming weeks, uh, whenever possible, we have exchanged the contact details. The sword, many saints and martyrs conquered, though they die. Another fantastic chat just yesterday in the afternoon we were down here and I wasn't gonna come and something told me I had to and so we got down here and I stopped a young couple um, the girl's name was Acacia and the young man's name was Brody and um, we started sharing the sharing the bad news with these people first and young Acacia was already starting to get teary and, um, we posed the scenario that wouldn't it be great if in 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 a situation where you owed a debt if someone else would pay it for you. And this young lady, again, still teary, actually just looked at us and said, well, not really, because I would deserve to be punished for what I had done. And, you know, we shared the rest of the gospel with her and she was really touched by it. And um, she was just so thankful for what she had heard and she was really quite visibly upset and, and felt sorry for her sin. And, we just thank God for the opportunity to, to share his glorious gospel because we are unworthy servants and it's just such a privilege and just this whole week has been awesome and we just, we serve an awesome God who just fulfills all these promises. So if you could pray for all of the people that we've been able to share the gospel with that it wouldn't go in vain.